Hello everyone, welcome to Semiconductor. Today, let's talk about vapor bumping. Vapor bumping process is to make small bump on die surface for electrical interconnection instead of wire bonding. This bump technology has some advantage over wire bonding. It can make much shorter electrical connection than wire, then achieve better electrical performance. It also can make array with much more IO count, means can process much more data than wire. Bump is made for whole vapors at one time, so-called batch process, means this process is much faster than wire bonding. It can end up with lower cost for vapor batch CSP with lower process cost. There are two major bumping types. One is solder bump and the other one is capillary bump. Usually, solder bump is used for core speech more than 150 micrometers, and capillary is used for fine pitch, less than 150 micrometers. But this number is just recommendation based on experience and does not mean absolute rule. Let's talk about solder bump first. But we need to talk about UBM before to start. Bump is made on die fat and good mechanical and electrical connection between die pad and bump, we need to make UBM between those. UBM stands for under bump metallization. Normally, it is made up with three layers. From die pad, there are adhesion layer, current carrying layer, wetting layer. Now, we have UBM and we are ready for bumping. Let's get back to sort of bump. It is consisted of solder bump only. That's it. Solder bump has three different process flows to make. Printing, plating, ball drop. Let's start with printing process flow. First, bare wafer is delivered. Then, UBM is made by sputtering. After that, portal register coating, exposure and PR developing. UBM etching, PR stripping, sort of printing, and finally, leaf flow process. Next one is plating process flow. First, bare wafer is delivered, then seed layer sputtering, portal register coating, exposure and PR developing, sort of plating, PR stripping, seed layer etching, then leaf flow. The last one is ball drop process. First, bare wafer is delivered, then ball pickup, remove excess ball, check, alignment, ball placement, check, repair, leaf flow, and cleaning. Plating process flow is the most popular process for bumping. Sort of bump also has two different shapes, circle and oval. Next one is capillary bump. It is consisted of kappa post at bottom and solder cap on top. Kappa post does not melt during leaf flow process, so it is good for fine pitch application. Kappa pillar uses plating process flow. First, bare wafer is delivered, then UBM sputtering, photo register coating, exposure and PR developing, kappa post plating, solder cap plating, PR stripping, UBM etching, then lip flow. But most of the time, nickel plating is added after copper post plating as a barrier layer for better reliability performance. There is one special bump type and it is gold bump. Typically, it is used for display drive IC because it can make fine piece bump like 30 micrometers. This is brief introduction to vapor bumping process and I hope this can help to understand basic vapor bumping process. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye bye.